People fear Sigma males not because they look scary, but because they make people fear them. As a pragmatic Sigma male, I have just what you need to make people fear you without saying a word. Anybody, male or female, can learn and master these simple tricks to make themselves indispensable and respected. If you feel like you don't get the kind of respect you deserve or people tend to look down on you and take you for granted then you should definitely watch this video to the end to learn the 7 practical steps that will make people fear and respect you forever. The difference between what you will learn in this video and what you will learn from other videos on YouTube is that I have actually tested these tricks on people and had incredible results with them. These tricks are not straight up Sigma stereotypes that I am reading from a book, but they are my shared experiences from my unique position as a Sigma man. With my help and my tricks you can take your game one step further. My tricks will make you very elusive and difficult to read, a master of mind games and the oracle of doubts. He who can plant doubts in people's minds is capable of making the very people fear him or her. That said, let's jump into the tricks, some of which you already know. 1. Eye contact. Maintaining eye contact is the hardest trick of all. Looking at someone to the point where you can tell the color of their eyeballs can be very intimidating and uncomfortable even to you, especially at the beginning. What I noticed when I started looking at strangers for a little longer than usual was that each time I did, the person impulsively greeted me first as I approached them. It worked on almost anyone irrespective of age and gender. As time went on, and I kept looking at strangers in their eyes, I came to the realization that each time I did look at someone directly in their eyes, they felt uncomfortable. It was as if I had seen something I was not supposed to see, something shameful or disgusting about themselves they were trying so hard to hide. Later I noticed that it wasn't any of what I just said, the look on their faces suggested something else. It was doubt. Looking at them for that long made them doubt themselves, made them uncomfortable and made them doubt my intentions as well. They did not know why someone they had never seen will look at them like that, wondering what I had seen on them. But it was the doubt I had planted in their minds that made them uncomfortable and intimidated. For you to successfully pull this trick off you must not blink or be the first to look away. Looking away is a giveaway sign that you feel uncomfortable and probably intimidated. The Sigma man can scare the hell out of anyone just by looking at them. Maintaining eye contact can be used as conversation starters with people you are familiar with especially women. It works on men too. Women are very sensitive and they feel uncomfortable when someone stares at them. If you are a shy person, you can stare in a not so intimidating manner to cause the other person to ask what, or why are you looking at me like that. To get away with staring easily as in my case, use it on acquaintances, dates, friends, and coworkers. 2. Body Language If you do a quick research on what percentage of communication is nonverbal, you will run into the same number, 93%, meaning only 7% of communication is verbal. Because body language is the nonverbal part of communication, I use it to reveal my true feelings and to give my messages a powerful impact. So instead of saying yes, I simply nod yes. Instead of saying okay, I give the person a thumbs up. To say thank you, I look at the person in the eyes then close my hands together as a show of appreciation. To say goodbye, I give them a military salute. By economizing my words and using more of eye movements, people are intimidated to come closer to me or disturb my peace when they don't have something tangible to say. In case they do want to disturb my peace, they are always welcome by a scorn and disgusting look on my face which gets them apologizing without me saying a word. Sometimes I say no by gradually walking away from the person when they say something I don't like or something stupid. I noticed that silence in communication has a similar effect to darkness. The fear of uncertainty that it creates in people's minds allow them to wonder what is always going on in your mind. It allows them to form opinions about you that gives you more credit than you deserve. The fear of not knowing what you can do or say next makes them fear you. You can use this trick on the bus or train to garner more respect for yourself by taking a second or two to verbally respond to a question posed to you by a stranger. The two seconds delay signals hesitation in your voice but your politeness says otherwise. This mixed messaging creates doubt in their mind, making them to think and choose their words carefully and convey them in a respectful manner. 
Distancing does not only mean keeping your secrets and family history away from people, it also entails keeping physical distance as well. In gatherings, I prefer to stand alone on my own in a corner. Standing a few feet away from people is a clear message that I want to be left alone unbothered. To make people buy the fear you are selling, add hand gestures, posture, and eye contact. 4. Don't smile. I am intimidating and fearful because I always almost never wear a smile on my face, except I am intentional about it or just trying to look nice and friendly. Smiles break boundaries and mend fences. If you want to keep your boundaries intact, don't smile with people that often. Smile only when a smile is warranted and save the rest of you smiles. I discovered that you can reinforce any kind of behavior in people with a smile. For example, if I wanted someone across the room to notice me, I smile at them when we make the first eye contact and smile again upon the second and the third. But if I don't want them to continue looking at me when the person smiles back at me, I look at the person with a straight face, which will make them uncomfortable and fill their minds with doubts. To make people fear you, you must go out of your way to make them uncomfortable. Don't be afraid to be a little unconventional or go a bit overboard like in the case with eye contact. People who smile a lot are often considered free spirits and welcoming. 5. Don't take sides. I don't like to pick sides in a discussion. What I do instead is to be blunt, call a spade a spade, and say the things most people are afraid to say. I analyze facts and draw conclusions, and I don't play favors. What I realized was that most people don't know how to handle or deal with the truth or rejection in public, and people are too concerned with their self-image instead of speaking the truth. To be feared is to be respected and to be relied on. By not taking sides, people respect your opinion and rely on you when things get tougher to intervene. I like when people look up to me and when I am the final resort. In those instances, I have an infinite amount of power. With the flip of a finger or with just a single word, I can do and undo as I please. Being feared comes with its own expectations, since everything is more or less a transaction. What I have noticed is that for people to continue to respect and pay allegiance to you, you must in return make them feel safe and protected. In other words, the respect people have for you is a direct measure of how much they'd fear you. To set yourself up for respect, like I do, plant doubts in people's minds, use non-verbal communication to make your point, stay on your lane, talk less, and maintain long moment of silence, be a man or woman of few words, distance yourself, and don't pick sides in arguments. If you are a Sigma male or female, or someone trying to understand how I am living up to my full potential as a Sigma male, then watch the video on your screen. Subscribe to also enjoy unique content about Sigma females, as the channel is also dedicated to the rarest women in the world.